Hey guys, it's time to do a speed test comparison between the Galaxy S7 versus the newly released Galaxy C5. So this is actually a mid-range, uh, you know, it's a high-end phone with a mid-range chipset. So, and of course, we all know uh, the Galaxy S7, still the uh, flagship phone from Samsung. So let's uh, first do the boot up here. And uh, both phones are, of course, on Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow. Uh, both phones have 4 gigs of RAM for multitasking so it's the first speed test here of the C5 I'll be comparing the C7 also so please stay tuned for that you can see the Galaxy S7 uh, booting up faster that's something that you can expect because Qualcomm devices they take a little bit more time to boot up compared to the Exynos phones you know uh, but uh, also display wise of course 5.0 uh, 2 inch on both phones, but this is quad HD. This is uh, 1080p. So again uh, The odds are in the favor of the C5, but uh, let's see here. So everything is closed up in the background We're just going to connect to the same Wi-Fi network on the Galaxy S7 here. Here it's already connected and Now it's done. So you can see I'm receiving notifications uh, Let's start off with the very low applications like phone dialer um, you can see pretty fast on both phones uh, if we quickly take a look at the home button speed that is very fast uh, messaging okay it felt just a tad bit faster on the Galaxy S7 um, but again these uh, small differences you might not you will you will surely not gonna be noticing them in real life you know when you're using but again this is a comparison so um, calculator You can see pretty equal stuff. You can check out Play Store. Okay, I don't know what happened there. Kind of crashed, so um, let's see here. Yeah, it crashed. So I think we're going to be opening up something else. Uh, clock. You can see the Galaxy S7 seems to be snappier. Um, let's move towards some applications. Uh, so first off, we got the Instagram. Here we go. Okay, so um, I think the Galaxy C5 it loaded up the latest feed. I have the latest applications, but uh, I don't know for some reason it's showing me the old uh, look of the Instagram. Uh, my profile that loaded up faster on the Galaxy S7. You can see I got the latest uh, icon there. For some reason, it's showing the old UI. Uh, but uh, let's see here we got subway surfer a game um, let's see which is going to be faster cancel look at the s7 oh my god it just flies through the loading times and then c5 taking some time the price difference between these two phones is uh, about around like $120 at least where I live so next we have IMDB and you can see it is uh, I think it was pretty similar um, the Galaxy S7 loaded the trailer thumbnail a little bit later uh, pretty close but again you guys are the judge here settings you see the S7 is snappier even in the system based applications so we got Temple Run the latest version and again you can expect the S7 to be faster obviously uh, I don't know why C5 uh, Snapdragon 617 I know the Snapdragon 615 in the Xperia X performs really good but I guess that's something to do with the optimization, maybe. So, some huge differences. Let's go back. Come on. Look at this. A little bit of lag in the animation. So, next we have Smash Hit. C5 
CS7 faster. Lastly, we'll be opening up the camera. And again, the Galaxy S7 is faster. So, um, I mean, even though this phone has 4 gigs of RAM, but still, Samsung is uh, still having the S7 the king, you know? It's faster overall. Time for some browsing action. So, you can see that I am using the internet browser on the... Uh, on both of my Samsung phones here because a lot of people say that you should use internet browser instead of Google Chrome in these speed test videos but uh, normally I use Google Chrome but for this video we are going with the internet browser so first off we'll be loading up this here yahoo.com and uh, you can see Galaxy S7 first one to come to the website and Let's see here. It also finishes off first, so first clean win uh, for the S7. But you can see scrolling is really smooth on both phones. And I can't zoom in. Of course, it's a mobile version. But um, let's uh, move towards the uh, another website, WWE.com. Okay, let's hit go at the same time. And the S7 again, first one to come to the website. Almost at the end. Of course, a big website takes some time, but you can see it finished off. So, uh, wow, uh, clean wins for the Galaxy S7. I gotta say, um, let's load up one last website. Even though the S7 is a clear winner, so we'll be loading up GSM Arena tech website. And let's see here, it's gonna first. Oh, I think that was the Galaxy C C5, but it was pretty close. Uh, so let's uh, go back and do the multitasking test. The most interesting part of the video for me, I guess. Um, phone dialer. You can see no refresh on either phones. First, you know we have some basic applications. You can see. No problems. Calculator. Clock. So far, so good. And now it's time for the Instagram. And you can see no refresh. Let's see here Subway Surfer. And that got refresh on the Galaxy C5. There we go. Um, 4 gigs of RAM, come on. IMDB opened up nicely, no issues. Settings, fine. And now we got the Temple Run, and you can see it opened up fine on both phones. So the thing is that uh, I open games because they really test out the multitasking power, you can say. Uh, an IMDB, no refresh. So uh, the Galaxy uh, S7, definitely the winner here in every test, apps opening, browsing, and uh, of course the multitasking wise. Also, uh, the C5, uh, it just refreshed one app, uh, but I think that is something that sh it shouldn't be doing because it has 4 gigs of RAM. Um, so let's uh, do the fingerprint sensor test. So you see Galaxy S7 is clearly faster in uh, unlocking the phone. Uh, as I told you in my full review that the C5, it takes some time to unlock. Uh, not the most fastest Samsung phone in, uh, when it comes to fingerprint sensor wise. So uh, yeah, this is the speed test battle. Um, this was the Galaxy S7. Again, you can expect the S7 to be faster, but I just wanted to see how it stacks up against the mighty Galaxy S7. I'll be comparing this phone to other phones uh, like the iPhone 6, 6S, Xperia X, and some more phones that you guys want me to compare it to. So comment below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.